What's up guys, it's Nathy182 and all of the G here again in our own world and today we're going to uh, show you how to make automatic doors using redstone as well as how to lock them using the um, new update 1.7 pistons so uh, without further ado we'll show you how it first works so normally okay, so, so this is a oh, whoops, sorry, just locked it Okay, right. that's unlocked. There we go, okay. Okay, so, I'm sure that you've all seen this before. This is using redstone, most simple design, apart from having to push it open yourself. Double doors, automatic. But, but there is a, a rather large problem with this. So, um. Oh no, a zombie is chasing us. Quickly, back to the house. Oh no, the zombie's gotten in. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going to die now. So, so um, that's the main downfall, especially if there's a creeper, because it can blow up yep. everything, including all the redstone wiring, what you just put down. So, the door is not So locked. now, oh, I'm, I'm a mindless zombie and I can't get in. Damn. Yeah, we've locked the door. This is a yes. working concept. In, now, um, obviously however, I can get back in by pressing this button again. Obviously, zombies and creepers can't do that. Yeah, and then this you can do this with a lever, but the reason why we haven't used a lever is because if one's down, then you've got to flip them both up, and it's not the easiest thing to do. So, if we this is something, excuse me, something else, the hatch elevator. If we just go down and look at the um, innards of this. Right, so we got the basic circuit is this. Okay, fresh. Pressure pad, I see the dog just stood in it and it lit up. Which passes directly above. Comes round to the door. This is off. Wooden side has to be inverted. That's it. That's how the doors work because not run out of space for the coding. And the doors are directly above there. You can see it just lights up. So, if you now uh, activate the lock, Josh. Okay. Okay, there we go. See, we. And if you can now step on them, it's forming okay. a circuit breaker. Stepping on it. You, the, it does not travel anymore. And that is basically all there is to it if you want to do levers. But you insert the T flip flop here. And what this and um, what this does, it basically turns a lever a uh, button into a lever. And then single click rotates it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Lag over. Lag over? No more lag? No okay, lag's over. <laughs> so, and the way this is is why the pistons just runs round to each of the pistons. It's it's a, a two separate circuits. So if we'll, so that's a working thing of it, but it may not be the clearest. So if if you understand what to do, uh, thanks for watching the video and good luck. For protecting your house and SMP. All our stuff is designed for SMP from our train station over there, which we may show in another video if you really want. Yep. To our gravel farm, to the piston farm that we had before the piston before the pistons were put in. We go off to the testing track. Yep. So now we're going to show you actually how to make it from scratch. First we're going to show you obviously how to make the standard automatic door with no lock. So, so there only goes go five wide, and as long as you need, really, just it's all you need. You only need four or five long or so. This comes down here, right, okay. and then get some of this. You kill that dog. Stupid I didn't dog, go away. Wasn't me. So it got to have a raised platform, on which the and which the pressure pad sit has to be a raised platform, otherwise, oh. it won't work. So, well, it will work, but you won't be able to maneuver inside, so it's not to be raised. So, above there, go your pressure pads. Then, on 
one bit and um, one section in dead center you need to have an inverter like so and this runs to the middle and on here go two more torches you see one will be this one will be off this one will be on so when the pressure pad is activated it's all like so it activates the entire circuit now the, for the pistons and that's the basic to um we'll show you it with the door in a minute yeah so can i have a door oh yeah sure Do -do -do. I think that's on the right one. Yeah. One door, two door. There you are. Don't spin them all at once. Oh, you did. So, you yeah. see, let's go through. Activate the circuit. Yeah, we I think we um, set up wrong. Don't, uh, obviously, you need to fiddle with the inverter to make sure it's the um, right way around. So. Oh, yeah. so, okay, so uh, do you want to stay down there while I step on it, or yeah, I can just see over there. Really. So, uh, oh. I think I put them in the wrong place. Yeah, oh, sorry, my bad. Did connect some red to them. There you are. Yep. So just walk over. There you activate go. Both. So that's the standard automatic door. Now I'll always go and show you the more complex stoop. Well, this is a lot. Okay, separate circuit. It's going to want to put two parts up and a sticky piston on either side so this is also why you need to have it raised up so ev everything on both of these circuits are totally symmetrical so you only really need to see one side of it to make it work piston here, piston there then you just attach something to either side to form the circuit breaker and then these you just wire up these all Connectors, so do if you get that, um, it comes down. So, say this is going to be this is the a lever to so have set up a T flip flop. The T flip flop, I will, um, I'll include a link in the description to the Minecraft wiki for a schematic. The start, the only is by him, I don't have the best explanation of it. This comes back around here. Here and then again linked background to unshut this piston and then we just need to attach a few diodes to make sure it all carries. So now it's interconnected, you flip the lever, they're all activated. And if you want to try and get through the door. Oh no, That's I can't get through. And then you basically just have both your inputs. So, say, so imagine these are your doors. You just have one side and the other side. Just, yeah, yeah, basically have to have them both connected to the circuit. And that that's literally about, that's pretty much it, really. Um, it's very simple. Great thing to do in SMP. Um, and you, there's plenty of ways to expand it from here. You can attach attach to an Alice door. So you need a code to unlock the doors. You need a code to plug the doors. And they can make fully functioning alarm systems. Which we haven't done because there's only two people in our server. Yep, and there's got no need. Iron doors, whatever you need. Then everything we do is designed for SMP. So. And um. I think this is the first thing anybody's ever done, or this is the most unique thing. We, we, we haven't seen anyone do this with pistons. Do this I'm, type of piston lock. Yeah. I, so, um... And, all the, and what puts this design above all the other ear locking mechanisms is that they all need a reset button, or, or it's easy to get locked out, or you need multiple buttons, and you need to remember where this is. One button, or one lever click go. So normally, if you are going to use a T flip flop, the output from it goes into there. Really, if you um, we rather not give you a link to our world because it's kind of special to us. Just we've uh, we've had it since uh, one point five. Also private server. It. But again, we we're, we're happy to show you how to do the uh, train station 
which is actually a very good, good design. It's totally reliable, works in a central system, mm -hmm. input gates, again using yep. pistons. So, blabbering aside, uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll yep. see you next time.